So welcome, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beautiful wild, wild west of the Lake District National Park. This is an area that uh, not a lot of people come to, to be honest, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, Ennerdale Water that you can see just back there is um, the most westernly lake in the Lake District, which just means to put it simply, it's a proper trek for people to get around. Even me, I live fairly close. I live within about half an hour's drive of the National Park and it's took me about two hours to get around here. Secondly, down um, this side of the shore here, um, there's, no, there's no public road. <laughs> there's a gravel road, but it's mostly just for um, sort of the forestry commission and stuff. Oh, and it is remote, let me tell you. It's got a real remote feel to it. We're still in the summer holidays, you know, uh, the kids are still off school here in the UK and it is dead here, like, it is so quiet on such a beautiful day. So my plan is just to head up to one of these fells here to try and get a view of Ennerdale water for the sunset. Um, so I spent a little bit of time on things like Google Earth and um, photo pills, that sort of thing, to see where the sun's going to set, but not too much, just to give me a rough idea. I'm going to see how it is. If I want to go further up towards the likes of Pillar, then maybe I will do. I'm just going to play it by ear. I'll tell you what, I was thinking one thing last night when I was planning um, this adventure. It's just amazing how it never ever gets boring, you know? <laughs> like, of course I'm going to different fells and all of us as photographers, we're pretty much doing the same thing when we go out. We're chasing the light and we're chasing, you know, nice photographs ultimately. But it just never gets boring, like. Every single time I can feel the enthusiasm and the excitement for the upcoming adventure and you know long may that continue i hope that passion never dies anyway i've got a bit of a hike let's crack on <laughs> So it's not a good start, it isn't a good start guys, Ugh. I've gone the wrong way and I'm currently off piste, trying to make my way <laughs> back to the normal footpath, I am bushwhacking, there's no two ways about it, I'm trying to follow my route and my watch, it's not my watch's fault, it's not the map's fault I've got, it is my fault, human error, <sighs> shattered, but uh, I have to just keep going up this hill and oh man I think I'm not too far now anyway thought I'd share that with you let's crack on So that was probably underestimated a little bit. That was a tough little hike. Um, <clears throat> I've made it up to the fell that I planned to come up to. However, I can't see the lake. <laughs> I cannot see Ennerdale water back towards the west, which was my plan. Um, so of course that's where the sun is setting this time of year and I wanted to include that particular lake in my photograph. Um, it is beautiful up here and we've got loads and loads of, you guessed it, heather once again. <laughs> it's still in season. In fact, it's probably more prime at the minute, ah, at the minute than it has been in the past. Um, so that's definitely a massive bonus. But yeah, I think I've got two options now, basically. I can either go further away um, from where I started and gain a bit of height or I can move back a little bit and actually go lower 
but get the perspective of, of the lake. I think I'm going to go lower because that way is a hell of a lot further. <clears throat> Excuse me, you know, to start gaining height. So I'm going to chill out here, probably 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. Have a bit of din dins. What have we got here? Chicken fried rice. Get a look at that. Oh, we live in the dream here or what? Unreal. So I've got the jet boil, just enough water for that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll head back down that way and basically just try and scope out some nice foreground for this sunset photograph. award for this, the world's stupidest tripod setup it's probably this like it's definitely a contender let's face it um, as you all know I hope you can hear me by the way as landscape photographers we get ourselves into some ridiculous positions to get the shot and that's precisely what's happening here, happening here. so a little bit sketchy um, so what I've done is I've actually come the opposite way from what I said I was going to do and because I wanted to fill up my water bottle in this stream so I spent a couple of minutes here uh, I filled it up a couple of times um, and I don't know I guess I was just exploring the area whilst I was having my drink and I realized oh, I should probably get a photograph from here if you look there we've got this beautiful cascade and then in the background we've got a pillar up here somewhere I think it's probably oh, this one pillar um, which is quite a popular fell or a well-known fell and um, yeah the, the scene just photographs itself really it's one of them um, I've just got to find a fairly decent composition so all I've done really is got this, this small medium-sized cascade here in the foreground and um, I feel like I've been photographing loads of these recently and then just fells in the background you know the streams leading us into the scene ever so slightly but it's a nice traditional Lake District photograph I really like it um, what I will say is we've got just a clear blue sky which I'm not usually a big fan of but I have stuck my Nissy polarizer on the front um, which is doing a few things here firstly with regards to the sky it's actually deepening those blues and, and sort of darkening them a little bit which I quite like if I'm ever shooting blue skies I always stick the polarizer on it's also getting rid of the reflections in the foreground down here which is spot on thirdly it's also acting as a kind of mini neutral, neutral dent, density filter like a weak one um, you'll find that you're polarizer usually stops maybe one or two um, stops of light so I haven't had to use any ND filters here which is cool so ISO 100 f9 with the polarizer on it's giving me a shutter speed of one fifth of a second where this water is quite fast moving here um, I think that's like a perfect shutter speed sweet spot between capturing that sort of milky water but still retaining some of the detail and texture there um, which is all dependent on the speed of the water but here in this instance that's working perfectly so I have to get a little bit of a wobble on to get back up to this fell and get the sunset photograph but like I say really nice traditional Lake District photograph nice little sort of um, stream in the foreground some cascades and then some gorgeous fells <sighs> off in the background as well I hope you guys like this once again what 
has been going on recently. Uh, it's me, poor time management. I know when the sun's setting. Oh, I'll tell you what, in a minute I don't care. Let me move the old noggin out of the way. Get a look at that scene. Absolutely glorious. I'll tell you what, guys. Oh. This is what I live for. This is why so many of you always say to me, oh, Henry, you're so enthusiastic. You're so enthusiastic in your videos. Um, I don't know what to say. Like, this is what, <laughs> this is what gets me up in the morning. This is my ultimate passion. And so when you see me in moments like this, I am just absolutely buzzing. Guys, we've got the view of Ennerdale Water. We've got some like pre-sunset glow going on in the sky. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what tops this off. Right across the Solway Firth there, we can see Scotland. Ah, oh, it is kicking off. Absolutely unreal. We can see um, what I guess is like Galloway Forest Park, uh, just the Dumfries and Galloway area. It is stunning. That beautiful orange glow on the horizon. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the best sunset in the world. It's not kicking off by standards that I've had in the past. This is beautiful. So again, same as my last video actually, um, the background is kicking off, I'm gonna say it once again. Um, and it's just been a case of rushing, trying to, I don't know this area. I don't know it enough to, you know, know exactly where to put my tripod and take a photograph. It's been a case of rushing around, trying to find some nice foreground. That is it. And I've found a little rock here. Uh, it's quite a big rock actually, that I've got down in the foreground. And then we've just got loads of little, uh, loads of little bunches of heather knocking about. Again, I still think it could be more vibrant, you know, maybe in, uh, I don't know, like a few weeks time or something, it might be a little bit better, uh, a, bit, a little bit more vibrant, but this is all right, this is cool. And yeah, the rock's just helping to anchor the composition. At first, these kind of pine trees were winding me up. Uh, actually, are they fir trees, I think? I don't know, tell me, what are they? Um, I'm too buzzing to think about trees. Uh, they, um, at first I kind of thought they were in the way, but then I, 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 as I was setting up, I thought, well, I don't really have a choice. I don't have time if I want to get a photograph. And they've really grown on me, you know? I quite like it because we've got the rock and the header as mid-ground. And then those trees are this nice foreground. Um, uh, sorry, mid-ground, whereas at first, I kind of thought they were just obstructing Ennerdale water, but now they look cool. It's another little addition to add a, a bit of depth to the composition. And then do I need to say anything about what goes on after the trees? Look at that. It is so beautifully still. We get gorgeous reflections on Ennerdale water. I cannot believe, like, how well we can see Scotland. Every time I come over here and I'm, I'm on the fells, it's always overcast. So I've never really had this much of a glimpse, um, since I've been doing photography anyway, of Scotland over there. <sighs> Stunning. So I'll tell you what, it is still, what are we, like, it's still 15 minutes till sunset. So I'm gonna get another, I'll show you this one now, and I'm gonna leg it again, further down the fell. Uh, and try and get one more photograph. Again, something I always say on this channel, it's something landscape photographers always say, stick around till after the sunset if you've got time, and if you don't mind, you know, heading back down the mountain with a head torch or something, which is what I'm doing today. Um, sometimes it can kick off even more post sunset. Oh man. Right, oh, by the way, I bracketed uh, two exposures, one light, one for the foreground, one dark, one for the sky. You guys know the crack, you guys know the crack. Now, if there ever was a visual definition of kicking off, this is it. This scene, guys, honestly, over Ennerdale water is beyond belief. It is, I kind of, my pre-visual, my pre-visualization, right, was kind of having um, a similar image to that, I got, uh, a similar image that I got in my last video, whereby 
maybe the sun would be in the frame, we'd have some beautiful golden light in the foreground, um, you know, lighting up all the heather. Um, oh, basically some cloud rolled in about half an hour before the sunset and I was kind of thinking, oh man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be snuffed out as it so often does here in the Lake District, um, especially when you make the effort to go up a fell. <laughs> But no, um, it's one of those, and honestly, what are we? This is a hell of a lesson. Uh, we're 15 minutes after the sunset now, and the colors are probably at their peak. <sighs> Stick around after the sunset. <sighs> I love it, oh, I love it when nature just blows your mind. I haven't paid a penny for this. I haven't paid a penny. <sighs> so lucky, this is amazing. Right, so a little bit of a headless chicken, I'm not, Ashamed to admit, because we've all been there. I, I seem to be there quite a lot recently. Um, but basically, I wanted the wide angle lens on because I just needed to get Heather um, and this sky in the same photograph. Uh, but I needed to be quite close into the Heather. You can see here, it's all quite close to the lens. Um, so that was kind of my only option. But it's worked a treat. I've took pretty much the same shot, the same composition, but one in portrait dimension, as you see it now, and one in landscape. Um, I say pretty much the same shot because the landscape one was a bit further up there. I don't know if you can see my bag there in the background. Um, so they're both a little bit different. I'll show you them in a second. Uh, please let me know which one you prefer, by the way. I'm always kind of torn between portrait and uh, landscape. You know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, again, this is one of these instances, guys, where you can make landscape photography so easy for yourself. Don't get me wrong. You need a little bit of luck, but I refuse to believe that I am just blind lucky in this situation because, and this sounds stupidly obvious, if I wasn't up the side of this fell now, I wouldn't be getting this photograph. I wouldn't be witnessing this beautiful sunset. I might just be sat at home, you know? So yes, I've been lucky with the conditions. Of course I have, but I've made the effort to be up this fell. And um, it's unreal, F9. ISO 100 um, and I'm bracketing. So one fifth of a second gets me a nice dark photograph because I need to make sure that none of that sky gets blown out because the colors are absolutely stunning. Um, and then, sorry, let me just double check my brighter exposure, which is for the foreground. Still F9, still ISO 100, but it was a three second exposure. So it shows you there the difference in dynamic range. Another thing that I liked about this scene, see this fence here behind me? This goes all the way down this fell. And actually, if I'm honest, that was what initially caught my eye. It was just this beautiful sort of leading line that was going down the fell and off into the scene. Um, I guess, contrary to my last photograph, um, there's no fir trees in this as well. So we're getting all of Ennerdale water. Oh man, absolutely unbelievable. What a privilege just to be chilling here with my camera taking snaps. This is absolutely amazing, honestly. Right. Hopefully these ones come out and do this scene justice. Guys, we can see Scotland. We can see Scotland in the distance. This is class. So honestly, what an adventure, like just ran out of words. I really hope them photographs can do justice to what I've just witnessed, because that was epic. What a beautiful scene. And as I said, when I was photographing there, what an absolute privilege to just be here photographing it. And that is down to the support that I received from you guys. So as always, thank you so much. Um, as I've put my head torch on my head here, I've just remembered the Olight, which is the brand of this head torch. Um, I think they've got a sale on. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put all the details in the video description below. I've got a feeling it runs out in like a matter of hours after I post this video. Might be a day maximum, but like I said, all the info's in the video description below. 
These head torches are ridiculously good. Uh, I've got two of them now, and I guess with like the longer nights coming in, I'm gonna start using it more. Um, I think it's a really important tool. I've said this in the past, like this head torch literally gives me the confidence to come up, you know, and do photography at sunset up the side of a fell, because I know I'm gonna be all right now going down. So yeah, the, the Unreal head torches, if you're thinking about getting one, I'd highly recommend Olight. And like I say, I think the sale is on for a while longer and I think it's a good one as well. So get one whilst you can. All the information in the video description below. But anyway, like I just said, thank you guys so much for your support and cheers for watching. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this adventure. As always, please comment below. I absolutely adore hearing from you. And if you have a quick second, please give the video a like. It really helps my content out. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next adventure. I am buzzing. Out. Out.